Pulsa Chain is a new blockchain-based cryptocurrency ecosystem that claims to offer significant enhancements over Ethereum. Moreover, the launch of the Pulsa Chain platform is claimed to be the largest airdrop or initial distribution in the history of blockchain. In this video, we are going to discuss what will happen to Ethereum when Pulsa Chain launches. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Pulsa Chain is an Ethereum hard fork with a snapshot of the entire Ethereum blockchain, converted into a proof of stake blockchain. The Pulsa Chain project is led by Richard Hart, who was also involved in the HEX project with faster transaction times and lower fees. Going by this, has Ethereum met its contender capable of overtaking Ethereum when it launches? Ethereum's ETA token has no maximum supply cap, which creates the risk of inflation for holders. Pulsa Chain's official cryptocurrency is PLS and is designed as a deflationary asset, eliminating PLS inflation risk with a token burn mechanism. Furthermore, Validators will only earn fees and 25% of the fees will be burnt to reduce the circulating supply. Again, it is vital to mention that Ethereum's own EIP-1559 will enact a burn mechanism similar to that proposed on PulsaChain. Richard Hart made his millions before crypto in a few things, but the big time came for him in direct marketing. He has a genius level IQ. When Bitcoin was invented, he was an early adopter, getting behind new money, sticking to the system. It also got him really into crypto and learning how things work on blockchain tech, etc. He made his millions turn into billions with Bitcoin. In 2019, getting frustrated with Bitcoin Max's attitudes, transaction fees, and proof of work, mining, he invented HEX. Hex is a token on the Ethereum blockchain. He used this because Ethereum is a much better technology than the spaghetti code that is Bitcoin. He began by enticing Bitcoin holders by gifting a total of 300,000 BTCs worth of HEX for free. Many thought it was a scam, a Ponzi scheme. It turned out that he made a lot of people a lot of money. How that works is, you stake some hex and lock it up for however long you want. The more you stake, and the longer you stake determines the reward APY you get. However, there is a genius point. You set the terms, nobody else. There is no middleman. By staking, you enter a contract directly with the blockchain ledger. Your contract is established with the agreed parameters from the start. You made your own new tokens, and nobody can get in the way of it. The average stake is six years, but the maximum stake length is 55, 55 days, around 15 years. Blockchain games and DeFi applications running on Ethereum have traditionally suffered due to high gas fees. Hence the explosion of activity on alternative chains like BSC and Polygon, where fees and transaction times are greatly reduced. Due to the fact that Pulsa Chain will have a copy of Ethereum assets and smart contracts, DAP developers could simply try and relaunch on Pulsa Chain offering its users faster and cheaper actions, which could effectively revive the DAP and its activity. The same story is true for a DeFi exchange such as Uniswap. Same service plus lower fees and faster transactions. Interestingly, this revitalization process has been observed in the flesh during 2021. With DAP games such as Axie Infinity leaving Ethereum in favor of its custom-built Ronin sidechain, or Avgachi moving to Polygon. On these alternative chains, they could offer users reduced fees and faster transactions, in turn, generating all-time high usage. The Twitter handle Pulsa Chain News & Talk has been following up with the network and compiled a list of projects that would be on the upcoming Layer 2 solution. The projects include TrustSwap, SlateDAO, PowerCity, MoreToken, Airdao, and AlphaSwap, among others. The release date for Pulsa Chain remains to be a mystery as the team has kept its developments under wrap. The timeline for its release is not confirmed and might be launched in 2022 or 2023. Investors who missed out on HEX are more interested in PLS, as they believe it could mirror HEX's early gains. Nonetheless, nobody can surely affirm that PLS could repeat HEX run in the market. As mentioned above, Pulse Chain will be a hard fork of the Ethereum blockchain. As such, it will replicate all the ERC-20 tokens that exist over to Pulse Chain. 
One unique feature enacted during the sacrifice period has been to allow investors to sacrifice their stake to charity rather than to Pulsa Chain directly. The team raised $25 million for CNS.org medical research in just six days. Importantly, sacrifices to CNS.org during the sacrifice phase earned 25% fewer points compared to sacrifices at Pulse.info. This creates a list of sacrificers ranked by total points from largest to smallest. Importantly, Pulse Chain's native token and all the coins on it are designed to start with no value so as not to benefit from the hard work of others. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.